Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my introduction video for my Project Use It Up edition for springtime. And this is all Bath & Body Works body care things. We're gonna kind of just get on into it. I have a few things that I am carrying over from my previous project, from my wintertime project. The first thing that I am going to be carrying over is this Whipped Berry Meringue hand cream. Yes, I used this a number of times last time and I enjoy it. I, I'm not mad about it, but I figured I would just carry it on over to my spring project since this is really a springtime scent. So. So the next product that I'm going to be carrying over is this Confetti Daydream Pine Fragrance Mist. The notes are fresh raspberry, sparkling pear, and blue iris. As you can see, I've had it in multiple projects. The very bottom line is where it was when I updated my finale for wintertime. So this is what I have left to use up, and this is so going to be a feasible use up for me. And that's going to feel good. I'm going to be happy to get this out of my collection when it goes. I don't know when, but before the end of this year, this is going to be done in my collection. <laughs> so the last thing that I'm going to actually be carrying over is this Gingham Love in the Mini Fine Fragrance Mist. The notes are going to be on the screen again as they don't put them on minis. This line is where I am as of my finale update for winter time, but I don't know how much I'm going to be using this one, but I really enjoy this scent, so I definitely wanted to carry this one over for the springtime. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the items that I'm going to be adding to this project Use It Up that are going to be considered new for this round, for this edition, for this most recent time <laughs> since last year. <laughs> so I have another hand cream I'm going to be putting in here that might be a little bit ambitious for me. A lot of this might be ambitious for me, but this other hand cream I have that I'm going to put in says, Hello Spring. It's in the scent Fresh Cut Lilac. It's from last year, 2022. I did get this one when they were clearancing spring stuff when summer first began last year. So I never used it last year, but I know this year I want to push myself to use it. So, so another thing that I'm going to be adding in is this Dream Bright Mini EDP Spray. The notes are on the screen. The packaging on this is so cute. Everything for Dream Bright was just so cute. <laughs> Thought it was so cute. I've already used one of these up, a mini of these. One, like one of these specifically, <laughs> I've used one of them up, but it was back in the fall or the whenever, whenever this first came out is when I first used it up and I actually ended up picking up two other ones. So I have this one and another one in my collection. So I figured I haven't used it in a while. I may as well pull one out and get some use out of it. So now for the fine fragrance mess that I'm going to be adding into this edition that are just like new for what I'm going to be using. First one is Cozy Evening. The notes are Lavender Blooms, Fresh Freesia, and Cozy Musk. The front says, all is calm as you dream the evening away with this soft fragrance. This one was from, I think it was from SAS last year, or like right after SAS last year, winter SAS. And the, I think that was where I ended up picking this up. I haven't used it since I ended up getting it, but Upon smelling it, I feel like springtime would be an appropriate time that I would use this. Since it's really not like a season specific scent, it's more of like a perfume kind of a scent. So we're going to use this one for springtime. So the next ones that I have are actually kind of like a set. I mean, there are two sets, I guess we should say. It's this pear creme brulee. So the notes on pear creme brulee is baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. This line right here is where I marked this at last year when I finished using it. I didn't do a project use it up last year. I had just had my second son in February. So going into the summertime, I wasn't really doing project use it ups, like filming them and recording and talking about them, but I was using the product. So I kind of wanted to mark it, see where I was. So that's where I was last year. So yeah, in the pair of creme brulee, I'm also using the shower gel. The notes are the pear, the sugar and the whipped cream. The packaging on this is really cute. I think it, I think it's cute. <laughs> I really liked the smell of this. I enjoyed it last year. I truthfully had the body creams in this one and the next scent that I'm going to talk about. When I pulled them out to put them in this project, I had just pulled everything out and like they were included in this. Well, when I opened them up and looked at them, they were so neon highlighter yellow. I was like, okay. Guess I was only able to use them last year. 
So, I mean, I know that they only last once, like, to use them in a season that you have and to not expect to keep them longer, but I was hoping to be able to put them in this project, so all I have for the pair from Relay is the Fine Fragrance Mist and the Shower Gel. So, that leads me to the other one that I have a pair of. It's this Whip Berry Meringue from last year also. The notes are fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. This was a one I again used, but I didn't do an actual like official project on, so I marked it. I definitely didn't use this one nearly as much. I got really into using this one later in the summer, which was interesting, but we'll see. Yeah, Whipberry Meringue in the Fine Fairness Mist. But I also have it in the shower gel. <laughs> With the same notes, the fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. Yeah, so this is where I am on the Whipberry Meringue, and again, this right around where I was on the Paracrum Brulee, and it's, this is one that I did not back up last year. It's, I mean, it really is similar to a lot of Bath & Body Works springtime scents that they come out with. Nothing, like, specific. Like, the Paracrum Brulee, like, they don't always have stuff like that, you know? They always have something sweet and sugary like this. So, like, always. <laughs> but this, yes, I have the pear creme brulee in the pear and the Whipberry meringue in the pear. So now I didn't limit myself to only old things because there are some things that I had picked up with, like, free reward coupons that I had. So I'm not limiting myself to only old things because that's so fun. Um, a body cream I'm going to be using, especially upon realizing that the pear creme brulee and the Whipberry meringue are not very good anymore. I decided to add this one in. It's the Golden Mango Lagoon. That's from this year. The notes are Sunny Mango, Saltwater Woods, and Coral Blooms. I, I mean, the package is okay, but the smell of it is what gets to me. I really like it. I feel like when I smell this, I'm having these memories of like 2019, and I feel like there was a mango scent back then. I don't have any video proof of the having anything like that because I wasn't very active on doing that back then. So I don't know which one it is that I'm talking about or remembering, but I feel like there was a mango scent that I really loved and I was like, why don't they have more mango scents? But when I smelled this one, it smells a lot like it. But yeah, so this is the body cream that I'm going to be using for this next little bit. Okay, so now we're just going to talk about shower gels. I don't, I don't have anything else but shower gels in here. This first shower gel that I'm talking about is was in the same collection as the Whitberry Meringue and the Pear Creme Brulee. It's the Peach Prosecco Macaron. The notes are Peach Prosecco, Vanilla Cream, and Macaron Cookie. This line is where I was last year. Again, I didn't do an official filmed project, but that's where I was. This one definitely didn't do it for me in store. I was like, mm, maybe a shower gel. And in hindsight, I'm I'm, I'm okay with it being in a shower gel because I really do like peach for shower gels. I don't really like it for candles all the time. Not always, sometimes. But I'm not mad that I have this one. I'll be excited to get this one used up eventually, but I like it. <laughs> okay, so this next one is kind of like a dud in my opinion. Like they have so many other ones that are just like so good and like so what I'm looking for and what I love. But this one, I just, I... I struggle to really get behind it. It's the French Lavender and Honey. It has this whole long story. It says this effortlessly beautiful scent is a fresh blend of flowering French Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and Nectarine de Provence, warmed with sun-kissed honey and white oak musk. This bottle specifically, I bought it at the end of, well, it says the very, very end of 2020, so it's probably the beginning of 2020, 2021. I don't remember, but I thought I would love it because I love anything with honey in it, but it just... So right up here is my little mark for where I had finished it up last year. I, I didn't do very good. I just... Anytime it's been in my rounds, I just... It's very floral, just like floral, and I just don't really get the honey in it, and it just... Kind of a disappointment. Uh, but like it's there's also really nothing wrong with it because it's just like floral but like at the same time it wasn't why I wanted it so <laughs> I'm just trying to get this used up <laughs> so another shower gel I'm going to add into this is honey wildflower 
The notes are crisp pear, fresh wildflowers, and sweet honey. This is the one that came out last year. I had only recently picked this one up and I didn't get it last year. When it had come out last year, I was pretty pregnant at that time and that was a pretty rough pregnancy for me, so I wasn't like into scents and stuff like that, so. So the only aromatherapy shower gel I'm going to have in this round is this pineapple lime and eucalyptus with, you know, notes of pineapple, lime, and eucalyptus. This was from last year. I feel like I had picked this one up from SAS in the summertime last year. No, no, I had picked this one up right before Christmas time. They were having a, the typical sales that they do leading up to Christmas. And I was picking up stuff for other people. <laughs> I picked this one up for me. But yeah, so there's no, this one's new, so I'm just going to add this into this product to get use on it. <laughs> the final shower gel is one from this year. It's the Fresh Jungle Rain. The notes are Rain Kissed Palms, Amazon Dragon Fruit, and Misty Breeze. Okay, the packaging on this one is super cute. I think this is adorable. The little hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. But... <laughs> In any case, I think this one smells really good. It's gonna be good for springtime. It's definitely more of a generic, clean scent, so there's really nothing like descriptive about it. So I'm gonna use this for springtime. <laughs> okay, that's everything I'm going to put in this project. Like I said, it's a little bit ambitious. I feel like it's always ambitious when I put fine fragrance mist in here, but the Confetti Daydream is going to be so close to being done over this next month and I'm going to just push myself to use it because I want to get it done. So that I feel pretty confident about. I, I have no problem with shower gels. That'll be okay. I will also have zero problems with this body cream, especially because I don't have any other lotions in this project round. Like I don't have any lo except for like the hand creams, but as far as actual lotions, I don't have anything in here or any other body cream. So I feel like I should make good progress on that one, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> but progress is progress, right? Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my spring introduction for my project Use It Up for my Bath & Body Works body care. I hope everybody has a great day. Until next time.